Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiant Farming. Our channel shares knowledge about modern agriculture, covering everything from crop cultivation and care to advanced agricultural technologies worldwide. Did you know that in tropical and subtropical countries, avocados are often referred to as the golden superfood due to their incredible nutritional value and rich, creamy taste? A medium-sized avocado contains around 150 calories and is packed with healthy fats, fiber, and essential vitamins and minerals. Each year, the world consumes over 9 million tons of avocados with a significant portion used to make guacamole. This famous Mexican dip dates back to the Aztec civilization in the 16th century. The name guacamole originates from the Nahuatl word awamoy, meaning avocado sauce. The Aztecs called avocados aguacal, meaning testicle, inspired by their shape. They valued avocados highly and often mashed them with salt. When the Spanish arrived, they introduced guacamole to Europe, and from there, it spread worldwide. Over time, ingredients like onions, tomatoes, lime, and chili were added to enhance the flavor. Today, guacamole is a globally beloved dish, commonly served as an appetizer or incorporated into modern recipes. To meet this enormous demand, large-scale, modern production systems have been developed. Today, let's travel to Mexico, the avocado capital of the world. Producing over 2.5 million tons of this golden superfood annually, avocados here are not just an agricultural product, but a national symbol. From the fertile volcanic hills of Michoacan accounting for over 73% of Mexico's avocado production to farms in Jalisco and Puebla, every avocado carries a story of vitality, history, and unique flavor. Mexico exports over 1.1 million tons of avocados each year to consumers in the US, Japan, and across Europe. Avocado consumption in the U.S. has tripled since 2001. Last year alone, the U.S. imported a record 953 million kilogram of avocados from Mexico, generating over $10 billion in revenue for Mexico. The avocado boom has driven the expansion of avocado plantations in Latin America's subtropical regions, where soil and climate conditions are ideal. Avocados thrive in warm climates with moderate humidity. Fertile volcanic soil with good drainage and a pH of 5.5 to 7 provides the best growing conditions. The cultivation process starts with seed germination, followed by grafting. The Hass avocado is the most commonly grafted variety. Rootstocks are nurtured in shaded environments to develop strong foundations for healthy growth. Though grafting is labor-intensive, Within three to five years, these young trees begin to bear fruit. Before planting, farmers carefully prepare the soil, removing weeds, improving aeration and drainage, and enriching it with organic fertilizers. Avocado trees are typically planted during the dry season, between March and May, when temperature and humidity are optimal. 
trees are spaced 23 to 33 feet apart to ensure ample sunlight and nutrients. When planting, holes are dug 24 inches deep and wide. Seedlings are positioned upright to promote healthy root growth. Nitrogen-rich fertilizers are applied around the base to provide initial nutrients, and drip irrigation systems ensure adequate water supply without water logging. During the first two years, consistent watering and proper drainage are crucial. Farmers also apply organic fertilizers and NPK fertilizers three to four times a year to support healthy growth and high quality of fruit production. Pruning is essential for maintaining healthy avocado trees and improving yields. In the first two to three years, pruning focuses on shaping the tree for balanced branch growth and a strong central trunk. This process is usually done during the dry season after harvest or in late winter and early spring when the trees are dormant. Avocado flowers play a key role in pollination. Each tree produces both male and female flowers, but they bloom at different times of the day. Pollination, facilitated by wind and insects, is crucial for fruit development. The avocado fruit takes six to nine months to develop, depending on the variety and climate. Avocados do not ripen on the tree, they only soften after being harvested. Harvesting occurs when the fruit reaches full size and firmness, usually while still green. This process requires skill and precision to avoid damage. In Mexico, yields can reach up to eight tons per acre. The harvest season lasts from late autumn to spring, peaking in December and January. Farmers determine ripeness based on size, color, and texture. Avocados are carefully harvested using baskets and pruning shears to prevent bruising. After harvesting, Avocados are packed into 55-pound crates and swiftly transported to processing plants that handle over 700,000 avocados daily. At the plant, avocados undergo thorough inspection to ensure they are free from pests. Samples are cut into small pieces to check for signs of infestation. Once approved, avocados are cleaned brushed to remove natural wax, and polished for a fresh appearance. Automation has transformed the sorting process, with computer vision technology analyzing thousands of avocados per hour for size, ripeness, and skin quality, making sorting more consistent and precise than manual inspection. Selected avocados are quickly weighed, packed, and shipped worldwide.
Those with imperfect skins are sent to guacamole production lines. At the guacamole plant, avocados are selected based on ripeness and quality to ensure a smooth texture and rich flavor. Advanced penetration technology assesses ripeness and firmness. The process begins with automated blades slicing the avocados in half, removing pits and skins, and transferring the flesh into industrial grinders to create a smooth avocado blend, the base for guacamole. Gnawing edible pits and skins are processed sustainably, with some companies recycling them into bioplastics to enhance environmental sustainability. Once the avocado puree is ready, ingredients like onions, tomatoes, and cilantro are prepared and mixed with lime juice, salt, and spices to create flavorful guacamole. Lime juice not only enhances taste, but also acts as an antioxidant, preventing browning. After mixing, guacamole is transferred into large tanks and vacuum packed to maintain freshness and prevent bacterial growth. High pressure processing eliminates microorganisms, ensuring freshness for up to 75 days without preservatives. Guacamole is stored in a temperature-controlled environment before labeling and distribution to supermarkets worldwide. This meticulous process ensures that guacamole remains fresh and delicious. In recent years, the avocado and guacamole industries have boomed due to the growing demand for healthy foods. Farmers are increasingly adopting modern agricultural technologies, from automated irrigation systems to advanced pest control techniques, boosting productivity, and maintaining high-quality products. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the guacamole production process, from lush avocado orchards to the final product on supermarket shelves. The combination of sustainable farming and modern technology ensures high-quality products for consumers worldwide. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos. Leave a comment to share your thoughts or suggest topics you like to explore. Goodbye, and see you in the next video.